Hey everybody, how's it going? Big Cat here. I'm um, just doing that Five Nights at Freddy's 4 video that I had talked about. Um, I didn't actually upload the update video, which I'm going to redo tonight. But, <clears throat> about the Five Nights at Freddy's 4. They say it's the final chapter. And we saw what happened with Jason. Jason Voorhees, to be exact. Yeah, that wasn't the final chapter. So, I don't know if Scott's going to do the same thing, but... Uh, we're gonna do little theories, at least my personal theories. I'm gonna do this without Monferno today, but let's jump right into it. So, final chapter. <clears throat> Where is it taking place? And I screen capped the um, the timeline that Matt Pat had created, and in a previous video, I forgot which one, he said that Five Nights at Freddy's three. It actually took place in the restaurant we haven't seen in an official game yet. So, when the restaurant's like run down and it's after... Leave... If it's the right... Be like 50 years? Something like that. 50 or 40 years. When the place is run down, like, deteriorated. Um, it, it's, the, it's supposed to be the first pizzeria where all the murders took place. Well, now, in the uh, uh, in the coding for uh, Scott's website, originally he had it uh, set up to where his name was, or the URL, I mean, had a bunch of stuff within it. Let's see if we can find it again. Ah, sly bastard. Okay, well... Uh, for the URL where, or in the title where it says Scott Games, he had a bunch of 7s and 8s. And we don't know why he had them, but my guess is that uh, when it said it was Scott, 78, and then a bunch of other numbers, um, I think the year is either going to be 87 or 78. So it's probably going to shed light on the bite of 87, but also go into uh, how exactly all the murders happened, the identity of the murderer, it, whether or not he's the phone guy or not, which that theory still stands by Matt Pat, and I thank him for it. Hello. That actually helped our video, and that'll be at the, um, the ending of this one. <clears throat> but besides all that, my theory is that uh, we're gonna go back to where Fredbear had actually come from, or one of, where one of the original Freddy Fazbear's was at, and that's at the first pizzeria. And then it might be a dream. Now it's a little far fetched, but if you look at the brightened image, which I'll put in here somewhere, um, it's a before and after thing that I've done. When I brightened it up, I found that behind or in front of the um, uh, the release date, it actually says Nightmare on it. Now, to me, I think that it's actually all like a dream or something. Like, we're gonna go into a flashback or something weird like that. I don't know how Scott wants to do it, but... You know, however he does it, he does it. But, besides all that, uh, thanks for watching the video. Remember to subscribe, comment, and leave your theory. Like, leave a theory on how you think the thing's gonna go. Um, personally, I think that it's gonna go back to the first restaurant chain. Maybe even Fred Bear's Diner. But, you all have a wonderful day. Hey everybody, so, after a little bit of research, I actually found the picture that I was trying to tell you about. Um, it's within the coding before Scott actually changed it, so he might be teasing it when the... Um, the game's date will be, so I'm gonna put that in there. Then also what you f would find if you go, yeah, if you Google search it. But, you know, he changed it. I don't know why. Um, probably trying to hide the release date after what he did, but, not the release date, but the, the year the game will take place in. But, anyway, I finally found it, so now, you guys have an awesome day. <laughs> Release the toxin.